What up, guys? What oh, is up? I thought we were cheers and we're cheers and. Cheers. Hey, so this is coming to you from the middle of nowhere. I'm not going to tell you where we are, but uh, most of you know Hugh not Carnahan. Allowed to tell you. And we're, yeah, I'm not allowed to, but we're going to show you something really cool that Hugh bought recently. Uh, well, I guess a couple months ago, but we're finally making it here. And uh, I haven't been inside yet, so we're going to go check this out. And uh, I'm going to pause this and then come back to you once I'm. No, fuck that. You guys can watch me walk for a second. But uh, this is what it looks like. See that little outlet house? We call that the shitter. Okay, no we don't. Um, but Although if, there is a bucket. If you could read the star, it says North Star Missile Silo. And I've not been here yet, but it looks legit. I'm gonna have to get Demolition Ranch Security. out here and see if they can shoot through the door. I'm excited. He's got this view, so like, there's the entrance. There's the like, bulletproof, missile-proof antenna. All right, stage um, one. Oh, stage one is unlocked. We're go time. Well, I've removed the lock, We're so I can lock the, unlock the lock. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm not kidding. My it buddy bought be, a missile silo. It might be frozen. Oh. Like, like the snow might have gotten into the... Oh, shit. We're good. We're, We're not good. frozen. We're making it in. I'm excited. Especially because it's freezing cold out here, and I hear that the... Uh, Oh, that was the, oh, oh, it's oh, a heavy door. All right, let go. Oh, shit. All right, <laughs> this, this looks very reminiscent of an old, of a Navy bulkhead. <clears throat> I've, I've not been in here before, guys, so this is, I'm after you, you show me around. All right. So, about right now where we're standing, we've gone down, I don't know, half a flight of stairs. Now the ground temperature is exactly the same all year round. Actually, it's a slight variation, but it's way, it was like 16 degrees yeah. just now outside, and now it's 60 degrees. Yeah, this is, this is nice. It's like being in a cave, except if the cave was like, uh-oh, that's flooding. Look at that door. Oh, so here is the last time we're going number one. Jeez, please. So this door is heavy. It's a one ton door, and I'm still able to move. <laughs> oh, yeah, really easy. The shape of it. Is pointed that way. We also, if you notice, we got this area went through some zigzags. In the event that we got nuked up top, what would have happened is the door would have been blown away. The nuclear blast would have gone down the tunnel. Each zigzag cuts the uh, blast in half as far as the energy, each 90 degree. Then it hits this door. This is a solid steel and manganese door, so the melting temperature is ridiculously high. Nerd! <laughs> That's the door. All right, let me step up. And here, another door. Another door. Get the big spring. Ooh, a big spring. I'm gonna keep this video PG, and I won't make jokes about your spring. Oh wow! Another big intense door. I'm excited, we're getting into the good stuff. All right, I don't see anything flooded yet, so that's good. Ooh. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> that's a whole lot nicer than I expected. What in the world? Oh, let me just show the world. We keep going down. All right. So you guys are now entering the very beginning of uh, of the Missile Command Center, which is now like a nice minimalist living room. Dude, this already looks nice. This is really cool, right? Like you got, we get a, we're gonna drink and sit on those chairs. He's got the we have a bucket to shit in, air mattress, the shitter bucket, the freaking cabinets. This is a storage room. More storage. 
Miss a little side stuff. Dude, this is really this is cool. And oh, construction. Missile silo is one of the few missile silos that actually has a picture of Kennedy. Yeah. Missiles. Oh. 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 And this is uh, intense. Jeez. Oh, this is the build out. Yeah. There we go. All right. So here's the actual build out. We went down this staircase, zigzagged a bunch, went through the. Airlock door one, airlock door two, down half the flight of stairs, and here we are in the top of this missile command center. We're gonna go back down to here, and then later we'll go to the tunnel to the actual Atlas class of missile silo itself. Ooh, booga booga. Yeah. I mean, this is oh. and this is so fucking cool. This Oh, we a, got a TM! This is an <clears throat> Atlas class F, or sorry, this is an Atlas missile silo launch. Manual. If, if Why I, does this TM look so much more modern than the ones I have that are more modern? Like that's like a seventy-year-old TM. I don't know. But the hilarious thing is that the previous owner bought it from eBay, and when they shipped it to this address, his account got suspended because they thought that he was in possession of a missile, and they were trying, was trying to figure out how to send it. <laughs> All right, we're going back down. Down the next steps. I don't know if you guys, you guys are gonna have to let me know if you enjoy these like more vloggy style. Oh, I like these guardrails. So the reason they're not, you should, you should show them. This guardrail right here, the one that's super not, stretchy. not there, there is no guardrail. The reason why there's no guardrail is because in this, when they decommissioned this thing, they were like, ah, fuck it. And they just pulled them out so they could get, they could hoist all the launch control equipment out. Oh. That step's kind of sketchy. So you could, this would be Airbnb unit number two. Number two. two. One or two, or one really big one. And you can see that 38% humidity, and it's 63 degrees. What so is this thing? Is this just exhaust? So this is actually the, the what holds the entire structure up. Oh. And so it's underground, it's just an additional support structure. Now, what's really cool is this is where all the, everyone stayed and lived in the crew quarters up top. Down here is where all the, the missile command equipment was. Well, this was the actual control set. And this is actually where the fucking things were stored. Oh, that was the button? This was, this, was, this was where the codes were stored on the inside. So it was a double lock, there was a lock, and there was another lock, and there was another lock. Huh. So this is oh, and it actually says entry restricted to MCC and DMCC on duty in typical military fashion. I love that they have normal power and everything. Like, and yeah, this one, this is sweet. Uh, and now we're gonna go look at the really cool part. And uh, Hugh does have the missile, just so you know. So um, that's why I can't tell you where we're at because. We don't want the missile to get stolen by Nazis and stuff. Look at this. Nazis. Not scary at all. After you. So we are currently 45 feet underground. Okay. With another glass door. This glass door, you'll notice, points the other direction and it basically prevents the crew from being incinerated immediately upon it being on the fire. That's good. Ooh. Holy shit. Oh, all this right, is where so you were saying all the cables came through. So this, this, is, is, this is where you put the bar. This is where we're going to put the bar. It's right here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Here is the bar, and it's right next to this right here. Put my beer down. And then we're just gonna. Oh my god. 
Holy shit. Like that used to be, you could probably hang out up there. So yeah, that, that was HVAC equipment. This here, these are the pistons. So these springs that are over there. I think I can. Tilt it down just a little bit. So those, when they were made, these springs were the largest springs that have ever been made in human history when they were made. The entire scaffolding structure along the command center could withstand a blast of 2,000 mile per hour shockwave hitting this place. And it keeps all the equipment and missiles suspended. Up there, where you see, uh, based on the camera, <laughs> right there, that's where the piston sat. The piston connected to the blast doors. And when it fired, it would push the blast doors open and then fire. And these blast doors weigh a shitload. And, and the, then. And what, what you can't see on camera, and, and this is absolutely ridiculous, is if you look all the way down there, we are already 45 feet underground. We're looking down another six stories, and the top of that is like a 12 story scaffolding structure that descends all the way down into the blackness, which is insane. Spooky. Dude, so what's your plan with this? I mean, we don't know. Um, oh, so this is the ladder you were saying doesn't go all the way down. This ladder goes down a little bit, and then it just stops. So okay. it's how do we get from this ladder to the bottom? And then do we trust that being down there would actually hold us? <laughs> it hasn't been, like, rotten away. Um, I, th I think so. I think it will hold us. Hold, it hold us. I wonder where you get all the way down. So for reference, and I'm going to pull this phone back over here before I drop it down the fucking middle of nowhere. Um, super freaky. Nobody that we know of has been down there since the 70s when they decommissioned this. So Hughes got this thing. It's 100, you said 185 feet. It's 185 feet, but story on the ground. 52 across. And what we're looking at right here, from here, from where my hand is, all the way back here is the thickness of the wall. And so it's nine foot of cement steel structure. And then it's, it's, oh, it's a steel structure and then just enough cement in there that holds it with AB cement to hold the steel in place. So it's actually a steel structure underground that's held together by cement. It's not a cement structure. It's ridiculous. So the bottom line here is, this is one of my business partners. He bought a missile silo. If you want to invest in really cool shit, you should follow Hillbilly Millionaire, which is this guy. And uh, I don't know, did we miss anything? I feel like we showed everything off. I don't want to make this like too long of a video. Follow the TikTok. We're going to have more stuff on TikTok.